Two people are dead, two others recovering this evening after gunshots were fired in a Sacramento neighborhood. It happened early this morning. Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen is live in that neighborhood to give us an update on the investigation. And Jeannie, what those living close by had to say about what happened there. Eric, detective, detectives with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office have been out here all day combing through the scene. While it's still unclear what led up to the shooting, if you take a look behind me, you can see that most of their investigation has been focused on that blue house right there. And people living in this neighborhood, living nearby, say while it is a quiet place, they're not really surprised. Just after 1.15 Monday morning. Our deputies responded to an incomplete 911 call regarding some shots fired in the area. Sacramento County deputies got to this neighborhood near Highway 50 in Watt to find four people shot. She discovered two victims, which were deceased, uh, then discovered two more folks suffering from critical gunshot wounds. It's still unclear what led up to the shooting, who's responsible, and who the victims are. For Robert, he's lived in this neighborhood his entire life and isn't exactly surprised to see the crime scene tape around this area. One week everybody's hanging out, the next it could be, you know, oh, you didn't give me this. And then this happens. Robert lives only a block away and heard the gunshots. I was up about 1130 midnight. I heard my cousin come over this and that. And then I heard a car screech, a couple gunshots, and then that was basically it. And then a bunch of sirens. All that commotion left him a little on edge. Take cover, find a safe place and make sure everything's, you know, good to go. And then come out and then check, check myself. With this happening so close to home, Emily Burgos is left wondering exactly what happened in her neighborhood. That's my route to the park, so I've definitely, you know, waved at folks and, um, you know, we walk around this neighborhood in the evenings and on the weekends. After living here for almost 12 years with a family of her own, she can't help but feel pain for the families impacted by this crime. We're just sending our hearts out to them. It's got to be devastating and it's going to take a while to heal, so we just feel, feel for them. Now, at this point, the sheriff's office says they are still looking for a suspect, but would not say if it's one person or multiple. Now, the sheriff's office did say that two surviving victims are in the hospital in critical condition. This investigation is obviously still ongoing, and they urge anybody with information to reach out to their office. Live in Sacramento, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.